Why did I switch to Persona Studio One Professional? <laughs> well, let me tell you a couple of reasons why I did and why I think uh, some of these reasons would be a big interest to you as well. First off, uh, I'm not gonna try to make up some excuses or whatever, but uh, <laughs> the main reason, quite frankly, is because I was a long time Cakewalk Sonar user and when they shut the doors back in the fall, that was really disheartening to me and I felt that I really didn't want to continue to use a software that no longer was going to be developed, no longer grow, and uh, th that really bothered me. When Gibson shut the doors on Cakewalk, I immediately started checking out other DAWs and quickly realized that Studio One was the it was the DAW that I really wish I had had all along and it's a fantastic program now I'm gonna say the reasons some of the other reasons besides uh, getting the door slammed in your in your face and, and I and I pity the cakewalk uh, employees but uh, you know this is a musician's DAW it's incredibly easy to use uh, the first night that I was using it I was able to record a full song felt very comfortable navigating navigating around in the program uh, could set up my MIDI instruments and uh, I didn't have any problems with it at all. Uh, additionally, the plugins that come with the uh, professional version, um, they're really great plugins. In fact, in the new release, the 3.5 release, they came out with the Fat Channel with some of the emulations of the uh, vintage pieces of gear and the 1176 and the Pultec EQs and an old Neve. Are just, they're just wonderful. They're fantastic. Uh, almost to the point that some of my third party plugins that I use and I really like, these plugins just, uh, they, they compare very favorably to these uh, plugins. And what I like about that is that how they integrate into Persona Studio One, how they've uh, merge their hardware. I've also got a Fader Port 8, which it was something I've wanted some hardware control for a long time. But the fact that their native plugins just uh, integrate very seamlessly into their software is is, is great. And uh, you know, I don't I don't have anything to complain about these plugins. I, I'm I'm proud to own them, and I and I think they sound wonderful. You know, another thing also, Cakewalk really had some wonderful forums, and if you really had a question that you couldn't solve and, and were just scratching your head, you could get on the forums and, and they could uh, just, they were always able to answer your questions. And I'm finding that the Personas forums are not to be diminished by the Cakewalk forums. The, the Personas forums are equally as good. The, the people are very friendly there. And but there's a lot of smart brains over there, too. So uh, even for us guitar players that can't get around on these DAWs, you know, I'm thankful that I've got a musician's DAW now and, and, a, and a wonderful form at uh, Personas there that can help you out. You know, and also I think another thing about Personas is that they seem to be, a, you know, they have their feet on the ground. They seem to be a solid company, worldwide company. And they started out with hardware and, <clears throat> excuse me, they've got in, gotten into the software. And they've been only doing this for, you know, coming up on about 10 years. But I would say their program has is, is moved along extremely well. And for the fact that it's available both on the Mac and the PC, I think it attracts a much larger audience. And I think the more users you have, uh, it really gives a... Persona's a, a good reason and, and some uh, abilities to keep moving forward. You know, and, and there's just a lot of other little tiny things. You know, I thought the ARA integration with uh, Melodyne and, and Sonar was really wonderful, but I'm finding it's actually much better in Persona Studio One Pro. In fact, uh, as I understand, Persona's and Melodyne work together to come up with the ARA <clears throat> integration and uh, it, it just works perfectly. I've, I've never had it crash on me. In fact, I had, I've yet to have Personas crash on me and I've used it for uh, you know a couple of months now. Uh, the MIDI is just fine, you know, for this old rock and roller. I'm not uh, orchestrating 100-piece uh, orchestras or doing 
dramatic, uh, cinematic type movie scores where I, I've just got to get in and, and need extremely detailed MIDI, edi MIDI editing. Uh, the, the, the MIDI that they have to date works just fine for me, and I, I'm going to make a guess that actually it's going to be just fine for 95 plus percent of the other users, especially for people just starting out. They don't need to dive into, uh, uh, like I say, these big orchestral scores where you need some really deep, deep MIDI editing. It, as long as you can do the basic stuff, which uh, Persona Studio One Pro easily does, that's that's really all you need. And and it's just easy to edit. You can get around. You can the, the drag and drop. Uh, you know, it's almost like Persona's invented the name drag and drop because that's exactly what you do. With everything. They've got the browser set up where you dr drag effects onto tracks, drag them into the console. Um, and, and everything is extremely intuitive. And I find that you know it, it couldn't be easier. It, it, it's a wonderful program and. And like I say, yes, I switched because Cakewalk went out of business, but quite frankly, I wish I would have switched years ago. It's a great program, and uh, like I say, for all the reasons previously talked about, that's why I switched. I suggest that uh, if you're looking for a DAW and you don't really know what you're looking for, um, I suggest you give them a hard look. They have a couple of versions. They have the artist version, um, but if you can... Uh, scrape together the extra pennies go ahead and jump for the professional because you do get quite a bit more that's it folks and i'm gonna stick what i say and i get off my soapbox <laughs> but thanks for years and uh thanks for watching thanks for listening we'll talk to you guys later